Whoa. Whoa, is that Got a big jump onto this bit. Whoa. Right, so we're going on a walk to the castle, although we might not go as far as the castle because it's one and a half miles and I have no great interest to go there, but we are going to have a look at where we've parked from a viewpoint. Yeah, there's our van. We've got Rob's on the left, a German couple in the middle and ours on the right. So, we've met up with Rob, Archie, and the German couple. I can't remember their name. I'm so rubbish with names. I need to ask people about five times what their names are. Yeah. Anyway, we met up with them, and the last time we saw Rob was... Isle of Arran, Isle of Arran. And he started his uh, Scottish adventure. Yeah, when he started on his Scottish adventure, which was like... It was the last half term, wasn't it, before Christmas, so October, something like that. Whatever. Yeah, so it was good to uh, good to see Rob, not seen him for a while. Mm, no. Although we're not going to be with him for very long, because we've just come up from St Andrews, and he's going back that way. So we're going the opposite ways to each other, aren't we? Yeah, sad. It's all good, we're all on our own little adventures, aren't hey. we? If someone wants to see a no overnight parking sign, look up there. <laughs> Funny how you can see one there and not down there. A no overnight parking sign. <laughs> so if you was badly desperate to see one of those again on our channel, since we were climbing whatever the last time you showed an oh, no overnight parking sign. Yeah. If you wanted to see the, one of those again, there you go. Brilliant. That was a waste of 30 seconds. <laughs> this child knows how to make money. <laughs> Standing atop Black Hill Stonehaven War Memorial is a recognisable feature in the landscape of the prominent
by rain. There was a massive hole when God made it, and then now it's full of water. has found a secret bunker. What do you reckon that is then? No writing. Where's the entrance? Hang into that one. So somewhere here, this would have all been underground. It looks like. Secret bunker. Yeah, can't see where the entrance is then. Maybe the maybe it's gone the entrance. What do you reckon? Maybe um, it all just got filled up with mud and stuff and yeah. Could be. If that's um, if that's a bunker from the war, I wouldn't like to have gone in that one because any German planes that would have been attacking from that side and bombing this port, which I'd imagine what it was for, the bombs would have ended up going on here. It's right on top of it. Not the best, but maybe that's not what it is. Maybe actually it's something completely different. smells. Right, well we're back from our walk and playing in the sand and getting covered in sand so it's all over the van now. Good to see Rob, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, nice to catch up, isn't it? So they're off south tomorrow, as I said before, and uh, we're going north, so... Um, yeah, I don't know where we're going next. I quite fancy going all around the east coast up to Inverness and then heading, heading back from there, so... Um, maybe we'll do that. Um, not sure yet. Get there. We'll see when we get there. So, yeah, we're gonna have a little walk in a bit. I'm just gonna have some food and then we're gonna walk along the harbour and make the most of this beautiful little place where we've found. Um, and tomorrow we've got some parcels coming from Amazon. I've never used Amazon Locker before or had them delivered to anywhere else apart from the house. So, um, it's thought, quite exciting. I thought that you've already done it before in Germany when you ordered. Oh, yeah, you're right, actually. Yeah, no, you're exactly right. Multi corgi. <laughs> hey, corgi. Corky. <laughs> oh, and we've also got the back doors open because it is 9.7 degrees in winter in Scotland, so you probably can't see anything. But maybe if I bring the camera round, we've only got one door open because the other door's stuck on rocks. But yeah, there we go. So we've got the harbour. So that's quite nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now it's time. For something very exciting. What? 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 Chicken fajitas. I don't wanna stay here no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind up. I 
think it's a dolphin. Yeah. Still. How many stones are in there, do you reckon? Guess the stones. Yeah. A thousand stones. A thousand and one now. A thousand and two. Anyway, yeah, you've got to find a gap, haven't you? There you go, done. A thousand and two. There's even a, uh, a wreath on there. A thousand and four. Come here. Yeah. Come here. Do not read this. A few bees. Nemo. Olaf. Scotland flags. A few books. Okay. Rainbow football. I'm aware of the box that were created today. When you told me that sure there's a way. The water's so still, and my pain has gone away. The air is much cleaner. After the rain Follow my love Set it in spring air Follow the moment to the sun There's a call for new beginnings here But the sorrow of yesterday disappear Let your body I'm a wanderer of the soul Before the end I plan to be whole But I know I'll lose myself along the way What's gone is gone What's past is past Let me leave what belongs in the past The road ahead is quite unclear <laughs> you were my best friend Didn't care about the rules Good on the weekends I'll be in fools Drift in the deep space So brave and so stupid Just like the movies How it's close So we've left the little Port Marina area and after spying on Rob, going for a shower, not in the shower, just going to the shower, um, I noticed in the background there was a kids park and it looks big and it looks like it's open to the public. Like it's not like a place that you've got to pay to get into. So uh, Amika said she wanted to go to a park. So I think that's what we're going to do, aren't we? Yeah, and if you have to pay, I'll use my three pounds. Oh, no, Doesn't work. Yeah, <laughs> what are you doing? No! <laughs> Hand of tickle. <laughs> Hands off. 
on, right, hold on tight. And then swing yourself back, and then do one arm. So now there. Keep going, I've got you. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> and again. Putting my top up! And again. <laughs> right. And I'll hold your hips this time. And action. Right, there we go. Sunsets in three hours. Yeah, I know. I've got to go now. Quick. Rob's got to travel. Are you ready? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, I've not got you. <laughs> You're cheating. Right, go. <laughs> right, well, we've said goodbye to Rob. Yes, we've said goodbye for now, but not forever. Uh, we may catch up with Rob on the way back home because it's kind of not too far out of our way and we like uh, we like that area as well so that might happen but we're hanging around in Stonehaven for a few hours now um, we're waiting for an Amazon delivery uh, it's really exciting we're having a new toilet thought you might like that <laughs> new toilet <laughs> yeah there's nothing wrong with the one that we've got but it it's small, so you have to change it more frequently. Um, but more importantly, it's really low to the floor. So yeah, it's it's hard enough for Amika to get up and down off it, let alone me. And we have it inside the shower, so it's just, it's really, well, the way we, the van's set up and the size of the toilet, it's just awkward. So a bigger one will be a, a bit help, but more helpful. So having that's delivered, and I've also got a charger coming for the scooter because we've had the charger at home. So luckily it was only about 12 pounds, I think. As long as it works, it should be good. Um, that means we can charge the scooter up and get a bit more scooter in done. So, I'm gonna go get something to eat and then we might have a think about getting on the scooter and going for a little scoot along. Get a little run done. Oh. Right, I need to get some food, come on. How about you bring me some food and have your food in the van so you can watch me on the cameras? Nope. So yesterday when I was driving, um, or the day before when I was driving, I noticed my um, rear bulb had gone out on my left brake. So when I press the brake, that comes up. And every time you press it, it comes up. Which I think is a good thing, because it means that you can't avoid it. So you need to get it done quickly, otherwise it'll just uh, irritate you. So I went to Halfords yesterday and picked up a bulb and that's what I've been meaning to get on with so anybody who's got a sprinter crafter very simple you just open your back door and there's three screws Ugh. one oh it's not focusing two three anyway they're there and then the light cluster simply comes off like that let's zoom out so we can see what we're doing and then here there's just some little retainers that need to come off so I'm going to pop them off now, if I can do it with one hand without losing the light fitting. So they just come off. Although, what's interesting is I don't actually know which one the brake bulb is. that's gone you can tell because it has actually changed colour so that one needs to go twist and pull I always find it amazing how there's nobody around when you start filming as soon as you start people turn up is that the wrong way around on press the brake we're all good try the reverse we're all good I think that's it I think I might have fixed it not that changing a light bulb was difficult <laughs> it's always rewarding to fix it
said it before guys, get hold of one of these, they're amazing. Links in the description. So this one is, as I said before, it's a jump starter and a compressor, so you can use it for your paddle boards, blowing up your tyres, and jump starting your vehicle. Get hold of one. Right, so this is a forest site, but as long as we don't go past them, we're okay. She's off. So unfortunately the scooter is on one bar out of five. So we have to turn back slowly, slowly. Set. Not as long as I would have liked, but never mind. It's hilly, so tomorrow I can do a longer run on the flat. Try and find a promenade or something like that. I've got a long way to go to get fit again. It's crazy. It almost seems impossible. So, about 18 months ago, before I got badly injured, I was running like 140, 160 kilometers a week, which is a lot. You build up to it, so it becomes normal. And a lot of it's slow pace running like this. But you know, I could, I could do a full week's training and then 30, 30 35 kilometers on a trail, not too dissimilar to this, pushing over in a buggy. When she was six, seven, even up to eight. And now, 10k. Yeah, she's on that. And 10 k is a struggle. She's off. Anyway, we take it easy. And we get back to the van. Five minute per k. Terrible. Let's go. We made it back. <laughs> right, we did have a red light on. It's gone back to white because we're going downhill. I think it's charged it up a little bit. Yeah, enjoy that. Yeah. Yeah. It was scary when it turned. It's to good, wasn't it? We went all the way up this forest here, and then across along that trail. And then probably behind these woods somewhere. It was really good. But yeah, we would have gone a bit further and a little bit slower, but the scooter was dying, so we had to call it a day, didn't we? Yeah, call it a day. Call it a day. Sack it off. Whatever that means. Sack it off. What does that mean? Spin it off. What? At the moment, we've got stuff everywhere in the bottom of this van, so. Is it uh, dangerous? Beep, beep, beep. It's not easy to get this away. Electrical cables. With an electrical scooter. It goes like that, basically. So yeah, that's where we are. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. There... Keep it in the middle. ...is like a rocket tower thing. It's a real rocket. Elon, Elon Musk rocket is going to send it to the moon. Is it? No. Oh, it's a radio tower. Yeah. Big radio tower. That's the biggest radio tower ever.
it. Hopefully there's nobody else here. Doesn't look like it. Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. See all the eyes down there. Oh. Where are they? Whoa. Well, isn't it? Yeah. So I think we could park here. 